All right, what's going on, everybody? This is Hunter from H and E Outdoors, and today I am just getting up, and we are going to do some fishing today. So that's going to be super fun, and I will see you outside. All right, everybody. So from the other day when I went, I learned that the fish are pretty much only biting, like when we first get there in the morning. So we're getting up a little bit early. It's about eight o'clock right now, and we're going to head out and go do some fishing. I bought a surf fishing pole right here and rigged it up with a surf fishing rig so that we can kind of do a couple different types of fishing. And I'm also gonna fish with the one that I did the other day, rigged up with some shrimp bait. But we're gonna have a lot of fun and hopefully we can get a few more species than what we got the other day. So hope you enjoy the video. All right guys, we are at the tackle shack and we are gonna go get this boy filled up with some shrimp. This is the little aerator. When you turn it on and there's shrimp in there, it just kind of bubbles. It lets them live in there longer, so that's pretty nice. But we're gonna go get some shrimp, so let's go get them. Getting the shrimp. All right guys, so we just got our bait and everything's ready to go. So now we're gonna go do some fishing. I will see you on the intercoastal waterways. First fish of the day. Ooh, a good sheephead, good sheephead. All right guys, so there's the first catch of the day. Really good sheephead. Now we're gonna keep casting and see what else we can do. We'll get him back in the water and uh, that's a good start. No, I don't. No, yes I do, yes I do. I've got him. I don't know what the heck it is. Oh, I think it's a mangrove snapper. Yep. Get him in here. Let's see what he looks like. Come look at the fangs on that mangrove snapper. That's pretty crazy. Well, we'll get him unhooked and back into the water. All right, so the second fish of the day, we got a pretty cool mangrove snapper. You saw the fangs on the front of him, but uh, he's pretty small, so we're gonna put him back in, but that's a really cool catch. So let's see if we can get fish number three. All right, so we did catch a pompano as our third fish. That's super awesome. And you can actually see, if you put it in the light, it's kind of got some different colors to it, like on the bottom here. It's, it's a really pretty fish, but we're gonna get him back in the water. I've got him hooked. I've got him hooked hard. It's another pompano. It's another pompano. He's fighting hard. There we go. I think that's fish number four.
All right. There's fish number four, another pompano. That's awesome. I can't believe we got two of those. That's really sweet. You can see that yellow fin right there. That's really cool. But we're gonna get him back in the water too. Ooh, I got one hooked. What's this? Got a sheep head. Another sheep head. That's perfect, right off the corner of the mouth. And just like that, right off the corner of the mouth. Couldn't hook that guy any better than that. He's got some big chompers though, look at those teeth. It's just like human teeth, so weird. So I think this is fish number five, and sheephead are always those really pretty striped ones. I love them, but we're gonna get him back in the water too. We're not keeping anything today. So let's get him back in. All right guys, so we are back to the house now. I tried the surf fishing pole and it didn't work out very well. We caught one mangrove snapper off camera. So the normal pole basically just worked a lot better and we were catching lots of fish. So I basically just fished with that pole the whole time. I did hook on one lady fish and it jumped out of the water a couple times, but it did get off before we could get the camera on it. And which stinks, but it's okay. So now what we're going to do is go inside and we're gonna read up on some guidelines to see like what legal lengths the fish have to be to keep them and either tomorrow or the next day we're going to put out a video on how to catch clean and cook them so that'll be really fun to do i'm excited for that and pretty soon here we're going to be leaving florida and heading back to pennsylvania and doing lots of hunting and getting ready for deer season but we're going to start off with some crow hunting so it's all going to be super fun i hope that you enjoyed the video today and i hope that you stay tuned to watch the videos in, within the next few days that we're gonna put out so if you did like the video make sure to subscribe I'm sorry about the little bit of a shorter video today But we had some fun doing it and I can't wait for the video in a couple days. So I will see you then peace